Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Guys, Bitcoin finally touched $42,000 and it's performing very very well. And it's up by 152% this year. And also, Bitcoin has surpassed uh, Tesla and Berkshire Hathaway and uh, is now at the 10th place uh, in terms of market cap. And uh, very soon, Bitcoin will also surpass uh, Meta. Meta's market cap is at uh, $820 billion and uh, Bitcoin's is at uh, $813. Guys, the market is performing very very well and uh, everyone are talking about bull run and everyone are pretty excited. Now, this is not complete if there's no any bad news. So, in Lok Sabha, several questions were asked uh, regarding cryptocurrencies to our uh, finance minister. So, in total, uh, four questions were asked. For the first question, uh, one answer was given and for the rest of three questions, uh, one answer was given. So, these questions were regarding uh, cryptocurrency exchanges, whether cryptocurrency exchanges are following the AML and uh, CFT guidelines or not. And they also asked to provide the list of exchanges. So, they made a list of exchanges uh, that were following the guidelines and uh, they provided this list. Yes, guys, here it is. This is the list of uh, those exchanges. So, yes, guys, uh, here you will find almost uh, all well-known Indian exchanges names uh, here in this list. There's a uh, CoinDCX, Unicoin, OnRamp, BitBNS, CoinSwitch, Zeppay and uh, so on. Okay, now what is this AML? AML stands for uh, Anti-Money Laundering. Guys, on Indian exchanges, uh, whenever you try to transfer cryptocurrency from Indian exchanges to international exchanges, sometimes it doesn't allow. Why? Because of this AML guidelines. So, in the Lok Sabha, the question was asked like, is international exchanges like uh, Binance, Bybit, Bitgate, Mex Global, etc, etc, are they following these guidelines? And are they allowing to implement uh, TDS and tax uh, and various other government rules on their platform? And uh, they also discussed like, uh, on Indian exchanges, whenever you trade, 1% TDS will automatically get deducted. Whenever you trade on international exchanges, uh, is TDS being deducted? If not, then why? So outside exchanges, which is uh, the international exchanges, if they don't follow Indian rules and regulations, then we should enforce and launch an inquiry. So this is what uh, basically the information that's there on the document. I've just uh, simplified and uh, I'm explaining you this. Guys, as of now, uh, no international exchanges are following this. There's no 1% tax deduction, there's no AML, CFT guidelines or anything. So in the future, government could enforce uh, these guidelines on them and if they don't follow, then they might take some kind of action. Now, my take on this is, if the government uh, makes these guidelines compulsory, then international exchanges will be forced to follow this. Because Indian market is a huge market. Now, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Guys, in case if there's any emergency crypto news or in case if I get any emergency crypto updates, then I'm gonna first update that on my Telegram channel. So in case if you're not following me there, make sure you do now. My Telegram channel link will be in the description of this video. Okay guys, now please do drop a like on this video and in case if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Now, in case if you're a subscriber, I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, a peace.